On Monday, North Korean state television released a video claiming to show Sunday's ballistic missile launch. The state media showed a clip of a medium-long-range ballistic missile, what Pyongyang calls a Korean-style new type strategic weapon system. A Pentagon spokesman said the launch demonstrated technical advancements by North Korea and poses a clear, grave threat to U.S. security. National security correspondent David Martin is at the Pentagon. David, what advancements does this latest test show? Elaine, the most important thing about this test is that it was a solid fuel missile as opposed to a liquid fuel missile. A liquid fuel missile can be spotted on the land launch pad and watched for 24 to 48 hours while the fueling process takes place and before it can be launched. A solid fuel missile can be placed on a mobile launcher, as this one was, simply driven to a launch site and launched with uh, little or no warning. Now, North Korea has launched solid fuel missiles before, but this is the first time a missile of this range has been launched from the land. So it's one more incremental improvement in the North Korean ballistic missile program, and that, of course, is the problem. Both Republican and, and Democratic administrations have tried to get uh, North Korea to give up on its uh, nuclear weapons program through diplomatic isolation and economic sanctions, and it's just not working. North Korea continues to make these incremental advances like the one this past weekend. Well, David, North Korea openly states that its ballistic missiles are intended to deliver nuclear weapons to strike cities in the United States, South Korea, and Japan. Based on what you just said with this incremental step, how close are they to having that capability? Well, one, you have to take them at their word. So you have to uh, believe that they are uh, seriously trying to uh, gain this uh, capability. You need two things. You need a missile that has the range to reach targets in South Korea, uh, Japan, or the United States, and you need a nuclear warhead that you can put atop that missile. And that nuclear warhead has to be small enough so that a missile can launch it, yet sturdy enough so that it can withstand all the stress of leaving the atmosphere and then re-entering the atmosphere on its way down uh, toward its target. So far, the, the North Koreans have demonstrated uh, the ability to fire missiles that have the range to reach uh, targets in South Korea, have the range to reach targets in Japan, but they have not demonstrated a missile that could reach targets uh, in the United States, and they have not demonstrated that they have a warhead uh, that would be capable of withstanding reentry. And what do officials make, David, of the timing of this launch as President Trump was hosting Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe? Well. You never know, of course, exactly what's in the North Korean uh, uh, mind. But uh, the officials I've talked to think it was uh, more a message to Japan than it was uh, to the United States. The missile was fired in the direction of Japan. Uh, it had a range sufficient to uh, reach Japan. And, of course, it occurred uh, just at the end of Prime Minister Abe's uh, trip to the United States. Now, on Saturday night, President Trump stood next to the Japanese prime minister and, and said, we are uh, with the Japanese uh, 100 percent. So it remains to be seen what the U.S. will uh, do in response to this test. Uh, there's uh, already a uh, meeting of the uh, U.N. Security Council, and the U.N. Security Council has issued a statement uh, condemning the test, but uh, they have not as yet issued any uh, new economic sanctions. And, uh, China usually blocks uh, economic sanctions that could do real harm uh, to North Korea. In the past, on occasion, uh, the U.S. has reacted to uh, North Korean tests by sending uh, nuclear-capable bombers on uh, long-range patrols over uh, South Korea. But uh, that may reassure the South Koreans that uh, uh, the U.S. is going to uh, uh, stick with them. Uh, but so far, obviously, it hasn't uh, convinced the uh, North Koreans to uh, give up their ambitions. All right. David Martin at the Pentagon for us. David, thank you. Sure thing.